The Phillip Rivers era officially began for the Indianapolis Colts in Jacksonville yesterday. And while things started off great for number 17 as he engineered an opening series touchdown drive, ultimately it ended, sad to say, in typical Phillip Rivers fashion as he tossed a fourth quarter interception with less than five minutes to play and his team trailing by just four points. In the end, it was Jacksonville pulling off the upset win over Phillip and the Colts by a final of 27 to 20. Now, statistically, Phillip actually performed very well in this game, 36 of 46. 363 yards, a touchdown, but it was the two interceptions, the mistakes, and the timeliness of those mistakes that was so critical. And that's what's causing Colts fans a lot of heartache today and a lot of concern moving forward if Phillip Rivers can be that quarterback to get it done. Remember, they brought him in in the offseason, paying him $25 million, thinking he was the final piece to the puzzle to get them to the Super Bowl. Now, if we look at the entire body of work, the career of Philip Rivers, and we know it so well here in San Diego, 16 seasons, he wore a lightning bolt on his helmet. Philip Rivers has been sensational in the history of the NFL. He ranks sixth all time in passing yardage, sixth all time in passing touchdowns. And even in crunch time, Philip Rivers has engineered 27 come from behind wins in the fourth quarter, 32 times he's had a game winning drive, and that ranks him 13th all time in the NFL. But there's another statistic that is troubling and one that may cause him issues one day when he is looking to be enshrined in the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Ken. And this is it. The fact that with yesterday's loss, that was the 64th time Philip Rivers has lost a game in the NFL by one score or less. 64, which is by far the most in NFL history. No need to panic yet. It's only week number one, but to see what happened yesterday in Jacksonville, we've seen it so many times. We've seen the movie. We know how it ends, and it's the fourth quarter mistakes, especially now late in Philip Rivers' career, being 38 years of age. Can Philip turn it around and somehow limit those mistakes and help the Colts get into the playoffs? We'll start to find out next week. Week number two, Phillip and his Colts will be hosting the Minnesota Vikings. I'm Kyle Kraska.